Well, January is almost over. Uh, the 31st is on Sunday, so I thought I'd do my January sculptural update now. Um, you never know how the weekend's going to play out. And it's been a tricky sort of month, as January's often are. You know, you have a, a hangover from the holiday and visitors come up. Routine is hard to re-establish. And I've been in a, a, a difficult phase as well with my David project because I feel like I'm in a sort of in-between place. So you might recall I'd been having a look at the Asaro head, which is a, a sort of sculptural aid for people drawing the planes of the, of the human head. And I decided to make a a wire model of it and, and I did a few which I showed in the last update and I was busy with one uh, where I was working on breaking up the planes and softening them and term, turning them into something a little more naturalistic and it seemed to be going well I mean he looks all right and so I, I charged on and carried on my, with my work as I do enthusiastically probably not checking as much as I should and I got to a point when I had a look at him and he, I thought, my goodness, what an enormous head. How did that happen? And then I sort of pulled back, had another angle and lo and behold, an ear was in entirely the wrong place. You know, this ear is, is just much too low. You know, you can see it reasonably clearly, uh, I suppose there. It, it should be a good centimetre higher up. And it's rescuable. I think these failed studies, well, that's how you learn. You, you try something, it doesn't work out. Uh, and it's always useful. I mean, it's useful because you learn. And the piece that you generate afterwards is useful because it's something you can work with. For example, with this misshapen head, I can see how aggressively I can fix mistakes by just cutting that ear out and seeing if I can reattach it. Anyway, that was the end of that head study. So um, I started on the 11th of January. I started a new one. And once again, I was filled with optimism. Um, he seemed to be coming along very nicely. No, no such problem with the ears. Um, quite expressive. Uh, difficult to see with the, with the light and visual interference. But you get the idea. I was very happy. So I thought, well, let's just keep on going. And a couple of things kind of happened. The neck muscles, trapezius, didn't, didn't work out quite as planned. And if I go back, perhaps you can see, it, it's hard to tell, but when I measured, yep, it's just too narrow. I don't know, I, I work as I move along with the piece, I, I take measurements and, and try and set things in place, but for whatever reason... Um, when I started working on the shoulders, it became apparent to me that I'd, I'd made some small miscalculations. So it's, it's back to drawing board. Um, and it's difficult to know what to do with this, this issue of um, building, building in sort of time bomb errors, small mistakes that gradually um, compound themselves and then you get to a certain point and and it's all gone awry uh, and of course one idea would be to build uh, a very open structure um, but a full figure which you could kind of check and when you are satisfied with that start filling in the details but there's a problem with that as well which I, I suppose I haven't really um, elaborated upon and, and that is that you kind of need to work from the inside out with sort of 
doing things in a, a, a fairly detailed way right from the get-go. Because if you build a bigger structure, you, um, I mean, you gain in as much as uh, you can see roughly how it's going to turn out and you can make corrections before you've done too many details but you lose in that when it comes to doing the details you limit your physical access to certain areas of the sculpture so for example if we look at this um, head cl closer up um, the eyes, you need to have a very open head structure to get your hands in to work on the details of the eyes. And, and the same is true of the ears. Um, and, and in fact, that's generally true of every area of the sculpture. As you kind of construct more wire, um, you limit physical access to areas of the surface. One possibility is to try and, that I'm going to investigate, is um, to make things in a more modular way. So, for example, uh, construct an ear and then attach it. Um, but then this has, a, has a, a, a drawback in that you you start having lots of small pieces. I'm just not sure what I'm going to do. Um, but all will become clear next month. So that's it from a bitty sort of January. And uh, hope you're all well, safe and COVID free. So from a slightly overcast Brazil, ciao.